For people who do not have much annual holiday, the Seven Day Spring Festival holiday is definitely the time to take family to travel around. This winter was very cold. Even Guangzhou, a southern city in China, snowed for the first time in almost a hundred years. Friends showed off their holiday pictures traveling Southeast Asia, enjoying the sunshine. However, me and my parents did the opposite. We went to North China to feel winter. We first fly to the capital of Heilongjiang Province, Harbin. Harbin is called Ice City. The first day we arrived at the Ice City it was not that icy. The temperature was six degree. We could see the small ice sculptures melting by the roadside. Harbin International Ice and Snow Festival was closed when we were there. If the next day the temperature did not drop under zero degree, the festival would have been cancelled. One Harbin taxi driver was joking to us, "Welcome to Harbin to see water." Luckily, the next day temperature dropped under zero degree and the festival reopened. The thing that annoyed me the most. Was the entrance tickets to the festival were divided into two groups, locals and outsiders? Come on, it calls itself an international festival. It's not international at all. Luckily, I already bought the tickets online. I just wiped my ID card to enter the gate. At least it solved a mystery that bothered me. When we asked taxi drivers who parked their car outside hotel to take us to the festival. They first asked me whether we had bought tickets. After they knew we had tickets, they refused to take us to festival. Now I understand that they are locals and they can buy cheaper tickets for their passengers to earn extra money. At the festival site, the temperature was much lower than outside. The battery ran out very fast on our phones, so they were dead as bricks. Ice sculptures were amazing. But some of them were broke for safety reason. It's a shame that we cannot climb up to the top of the sculptures. When we were in Harbin, we were cheated in a restaurant. Here's the story: We were taken to a wild fish restaurant by a taxi driver. The fish looked impressive, but tasted terrible. Most of the fish was fat. The cost of this meal is almost 170 pounds for three people. We felt that the meal shouldn't cost that much. But we didn't want to cause trouble for our holiday, so we just paid and left the restaurant. The next day, our story spread widely on Weibo, the Chinese version of Twitter. About 20 people were charged a thousand pounds in this restaurant. The customer said they asked for 10.14 wild fish, but on the bill it was 14.14. Customers argued with the staff that 10 people dashed in the shop, and they had physical conflicts. The customers called police, and the police suggested that the customers should pay in full. Later, one customer put the story online. Then it became popular. Under great social pressure, an investigation was started. Straight after, it, the investigation found that there was nothing wrong with the restaurant. The customers had already accepted the price, so there was no scam. Later, people pointed out that. It was illegal to sell the wild fish as it's endangered. Also, it was found that the business registration number of this restaurant had already expired. Anyway, this restaurant is closed now. This gives us some peace in mind. East of Harbin, there is a village called Snow Village. It became famous because of a popular family reality show, Daddy, Where Are We Going To? was filmed there. It looked amazing in the show, but Luckily, we did not go there. As I mentioned before, the temperature rose above 10 degree. For safety reasons, the roads were closed. Around 20,000 people were held up. I forget to mention a B&B there costs 100 pounds per room. The village also charges an entrance fee. Compare this to the village we stay at, around one hour away from this snow village, which was 20 pounds per room with no entrance fee. Travel in China is definitely an adventure, even for Chinese. One tip for traveling in China: places without entrance charges are more interesting. We went to climb this unknown mountain. It was only three of us there. No one tried to sell us souvenirs. It was very quiet. 
One thing I found very interesting in North Chinese family is kam, a hitable brick bat. Actually, it is more than a bat. The fire is lit in a hole under the bat. It is connected to the chimney, so the smoke can go out. People living here do almost everything on the kam, so you can see the kam occupy most of the room. If you go to North China in winter, it's worth a try.